Northern Cape Health MEC Mase Manopole has urged residents to continue following precautionary measures to avoid contracting COVID-19. The number of confirmed cases in the province has risen to 13. Manopole joins us now via Skype to speak to us on how they are fighting COVID-19 in the Northern Cape. So MEC, the numbers as things stand at the moment really low, which is a good thing, but do the numbers reveal the proper picture for you in terms of, you know, the prevalence of COVID-19, the coronavirus in your communities? Good afternoon, um, Simulani. Um, we, have, we do have uh, low numbers. It does not mean we should be complacent. And it did. Um, we have done some work. Uh, as per the stage four. Remember when um, Professor um, um, Salim Karim made the presentation, he said we have eight stages in South Africa of response to COVID. We have been in stage four. In the stage four, we, we, we are doing massive screening and testing. So as a result that we have done those, those, those screening and testing, we have, to, we, we have been using the testing as per index uh, definition by by the make the make which is a um, ministerial advisory committee so we those are the um, the ref flagging we have been referring the right people for the testing and MEC, talk to me about that screening uh, process uh, that uh, that you are undertaking how widespread is it and where are you focusing because the talk right now is about clusters of infection so when you do see um, you know a particular clusters in a geographic location, you sort of move in in that direction. But I suppose for you it's difficult to talk about clusters at this point with only about 13 cases that have been confirmed. Yeah, we, what, what we know that we, the screening and, and testing is, is happening throughout the, the province. We have five districts. All those five districts are embarking in, on the massive screening testing. So in stage five, we, what we do, we're going to do identify hotspots. For now, we have um, identified um, Francis Bart, in particular, Salt Brighty. We have noticed that in the past um, four days, the number of cases has been rising in, in Salt Brighty. And because of the results of some of the screening and testing that we have done in, in our our province. So we, there's the reason why we say the, the numbers. We are the identified hotspot, then we go on hotspot. But the screening and testing is done throughout the province in all five, dist five districts. But we will have a vigorous um, a, a, a hotspot analysis as, as a province, and particularly in concentrate in Francis, in Francis part in Seoul, like you for, for now, but other work is being happening in other districts. Uh, but one of the things, MSC, that we know are the challenges that you have faced as a province, particularly in areas such as health and also issues around water, uh, being an arid uh, province, but also with issues of infrastructure, water infrastructure. How are you sort of dealing with that, uh, responding to that situation. I mean, last year, uh, the Premier had to even divert monies that were going to be spent on luxury vehicles, which is a good thing, diverting them to getting ambulances. But all it did really was just to point to how acute uh, the problem of uh, the health crisis is uh, in your province. Indeed, we have um, challenges of, of water in our province. Um, um during the, the the week that the lockdown was announced, after the just a um, few weeks after the, the disaster, the provincial command council was um, established by the provincial um, uh, team, which was that is led by the premier. So the each department is like a multidisciplinary sector approach. Each department is responsible to ensure that there is water in the areas that is no water. We must understand in our province there are areas that the drought has, um, is, 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 is really hard hit in our, in our provinces. The areas in Namakwa, the area in DTG, when we, we pour water, underground there is no water. Even, even in Ixley, where we bore water as the health facility, in our clinics we have tried to ensure that we bore water, but the, the, the engineers said they, they tried to bore water, there is no water. So the province uh, took a decision under the command council and said there should be water tankers and with the assistance of our national department, the delivery of water tankers, there each have some, been some challenges of water tankers distribution in our province. But the 
the currently the command council is sitting and review and see what the challenges are there and coming with the mitigation plan to ensure that in all our areas this issue of water has been addressed and also issue for sanitation. All right, MSC, I'm out of time. I want to squeeze in a quick question about tracking and tracing. There's been a concern that says uh, an example that was given of a man who tested positive, but uh, his family has since not been, you know, tested and are still waiting uh, to be contacted. That's certainly coming from the opposition in the province. How strong or how weak uh, is your tracking and tracing capability? I just want to attest to, if we can remember the first case that we had in our province um, during the March, um, um, March month, I think the second week, we did a vigorous testing and test. It just attested the capacity that we had. Within 24 hours, um, um, we have to we had, um, trace the, the contacts. What is the protocol currently? The protocol, um, which is a guideline to us, saying you must be able to trace your con the contacts within 48 hours. The first process, we go, we go and interview the, the patient who has tested positive, and the patient that has tested positive you should be able to give you the, the people that has been contact with and their contact numbers. So that's the process. The process that run parallel. You do the telephonic interview, you also go and visit those um, people. So immediately you call them saying we, ha we are in contact with the person that tested con um, positive we are requesting you can you take these precautionary measures you isolate yourself we'll be coming to your house and be able to ensure that we test you and of the way we'll go to take you to our facility and test you so there's a process and the protocol and you have followed it to the latter and the opposition party would like to play to the gallery without even um, in checking the effects and also not understanding the policies of, of, of government and especially the expert response to COVID-19. Thank you for that. MEC Mase Manopole from the Northern Cape talking to us about the picture in as far as responding to COVID-19 in that province.